I'm Edie Lush, and I'm here at the Hub Culture Pavilion in Davos at the World Economic Forum. Really pleased to be joined by Alexis McGill Johnson, Executive Director of the Perception Institute. What does the Perception Institute do? So the Perception Institute is a consortium of social psychologists and researchers, uh, neuroscientists who've come together to try to figure out how the mind sciences actually have better application in reducing racial and gender anxiety. So we've done things like, you know, hook people up to MRIs and heart rate monitors and respiratory monitors and flash images of like young African American men so that we can see how we can chart the anxiety growing in our bodies. Wow. <laughs> and so, so what happens? What do you do with that data? Well, you know, I mean, if you take kind of what's happening in the U.S., particularly around African-American men right mm -hmm. now, um, you know, we take the data and then we, we design, um, you know, we work with our researchers to design different protocols for teachers, for police officers, for, uh, for employers, anyone mm -hmm. who has kind of uh, a real impact in their lived mm -hmm. experience. Mm -hmm. um, we do it for uh, primarily for men of color at this point, but we're also doing a lot of work around gender and sexuality, um, any marginalized group where we've internalized uh, implicit biases. So how do you use that information? How do you then retrain the mind not to be so anxious? Well, it's so interesting. So the person who originally invented the implicit association test, which is just a way to test your subconscious, mm -hmm. um, realized we take in some, some 40 million bits of information every second. Wow. And we're only conscious of, you know, 10 to 40. Right, ten, mm -hmm. 10 to forty, not ten to forty million. Right, right, right. <laughs> and so, um, so it's very difficult when we have these frames um, that help us kind of navigate the world in order to, to shift our our perceptions very quickly. Mm -hmm. And so he wanted to know whether or not he could figure out um, how to how to to make himself like bugs over flowers, uh -huh. right? <laughs> right. Like very hard, right? I mean, of course we love flowers. That's right. why we're primed to do it. So we're trying to, to take that same work mm -hmm. and, um, and challenge these very difficult perceptions of mm -hmm. either women as too feminine and not, mm -hmm. you know, leader-like or, um, you know, young kids of color as too lazy or whatever. Mm -hmm. And we build out these interventions that literally just show people how their brains work, right? I mean, I think that's really the best point mm -hmm. of entry. Because once you understand that that your brain is not, uh, that, that you yourself are not a bad person mm -hmm. because you have these biases, right. it actually makes you just feel like you're human. And that's really what we want to get to. Is it addressing the subconscious or the conscious or both? Well, it's bringing the subconscious to the conscious, okay. right? I mean, I think that's really what's important. We are trying to um, to develop a set of habits and practices so that we can understand the anxiety when it's coming to the fore, and then we can actually name it and address it. Absolutely fascinating speaking <laughs> to you. Really interesting. Thank you so much for stopping by the Hub Culture Pavilion Great. here in Davos. Thanks for I'm Edie Lush. Okay.